Hey, air signs, and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is uh, focusing on love, but it may apply to different areas of your life. It could be from the perspective of a cross watcher. So just take what fits, leave what don't, and enjoy the message. This is for entertainment purposes only and intended for those 18 years of age or older. So, all right, here we go. Air signs. Your guys' current energy. The Eight of Swords. Feeling a little trapped by a situation. The person you are dealing with is the, oops, is the hermit feeling withdrawn. They could have taken a step back from the connection. What's the energy coming for our air signs, please? situation for our air signs. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, the Queen of Swords. The World and Strength. Spirit's advice for you is the Six of Swords and the King of Wands. The potential outcome is the Four of Swords. All right. The shared energy between the two of you is the king of or the knight of cups clarified with the moon and the knight of pentacles okay so let's see why you're whoa let's see why you're feeling trapped here why is the eight of swords here for our air signs oh goodness the six of pentacles okay so you could be giving more to this connection, air sign, than what your person is giving to you. There is definitely an imbalance of um, effort, of energy, of the give and take. You're feeling very, you're feeling very trapped by that. You're giving and giving, waiting for this person to reciprocate, and they're pulling away. They're going within. Um, they're not. They could not be talking. You feel like you can't move on. Um, you feel like you're constantly waiting for this person. Yeah. They're, you're waiting for them to come towards you. You're waiting for them to find, you know, you along their path. They're needing to walk away from something, though. The energy coming in for you guys, they could be focusing on work or this is you. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo with the Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit here. Um you're getting ready to cut yourself out of this connection. You're getting ready to take a stand for what you want. Putting an end to um, this back and forth, this unknown. Facing your fear of being alone for some of you. Facing your fear of walking away from this connection. Um, realizing that if it's meant to be, it'll be. But you're no longer going to do things the way that you've been doing them. Um, it's not working out. So you're taking a new approach. Um, and I do feel you are moving forward. You're moving away from this connection or your person is walking away from you. But either way, by you moving forward away from this connection and taking action, um, it is going to bring in love for you. Uh, with the Four of Swords, your potential outcome, the need for healing, the need for some time alone, the need to take some, some time to heal your mind, body, and soul because the truth is coming out. Yeah, and by you healing, that is going to bring in somebody who is going to give you that equal give and take with the Two of Cups here. Who is this person? The Magician and the Ten of Pentacles, yes. So by you by you breaking free, by you taking a, a new approach and allowing this, this connection to end, whether it be with this person or somebody new, you are going to get that equal love that you're wanting. Um, you're really focusing on your finances for some of you, working, doing a lot of inner work with that strength card. By taking action and moving away from this connection, you are going to manifest in exactly what you're wanting, that abundance, that happiness, that family, um, a commitment uh, with somebody who is oops, going to appreciate you. That was the star that fell out, or that flipped, I mean. But there is this incredible need for healing uh it's also if if this person does come back or you go back to this person 
it is going to happen in divine timing. This is the stars aligning. This is, um, you know, your wish is coming true when it is time, but you need to replenish your own mind, body, and soul. Um, you see this person is pouring out everything they have to give and not getting anything in return. The need to uh, be rejuvenated, the need to put more back into yourself by doing this healing is going to give you the power to manifest this family, this this abundance, this love that you're wanting. The shared energy between the two of you is there is love here. There is an offer being made, but it is super slow. For some of you, you have two offers coming in, and you're going to need to make a decision between a water and an earth sign, but you need to face your fear of walking away from this connection. For some of you, there's secrets between the two of you that are going to be illuminated um, here in the next week or so. <clears throat> Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Wow, the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So coming out of confusion, we do have the King and Queen now, a soulmate, plus the Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody's going through a big awakening air sign, a big awakening, coming out of confusion, knowing that they don't, knowing their worth, knowing their value, knowing that they don't have to chase they need to take action, but love will find you when it is time. Tell me more about this moon. Yeah, just, they're not offering enough. Um, there could be, wow. So in this moon phase, in this new moon that we just had, an offer is coming in for you. It's going to bring a very healing balance. Um, for some of you, this is a, a soulmate twin flame connection. Uh, the, the, the healing needs to happen so the two of you can come together. Um, the two of you have been through some shit. This is a wounded warrior card. You're now at a crossroads. What do I do? Um, and the, the answer is to heal. It's time to take time to yourself. This love is here for you. And it is going to bring happiness and celebration. And wow. And a big offer with the Ace of Pentacles. This will move forward. But for right now, you need to take a step back. You need to get out of this feeling of being imprisoned by not getting enough nourishment, not getting enough out of this person. This person is barely giving anything and you need more and that's okay. You deserve more. Um, when you take a step back, you're going to see clearly that you deserve more than this. You're the freaking queen of wands or king of wands. Um, they need to show up with a bigger offer than the, the um, crumbs that they've been giving you. When you take a step back and you heal um, and allow that energy of the universe to um, bring in that fulfillment, that self-love, that that knowing your value and worth, you're going to have a couple offers knocking at your door, air signs. So I hope this helped a little bit, uh, brought some clarity to the confusion, some direction um, of where to go next. Take that time to heal, guys. You deserve it. I will see you next time and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Much love.